Hey guys, welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. I am Madison Mayhem and today I'm going to be reviewing a film called The Trust. It comes out 27th of May 2016 and it stars Nicolas Cage and Elijah Wood and kind of a smattering of other people that you might recognise. Um, I really didn't know what I was getting into when I saw this. I, um, from the little information that I had on it, it was uh, supposedly a buddy cop type of movie. It's a heist movie and I was like, okay, not usually my thing but I'll give it a go. Wow, I literally just finished it and wow, oh my god, this film was amazing. I mean, it's not your typical kind of buddy cop heist movie. It's not full of action. The basic plot of this film is we've got Nicolas Cage who plays a guy called Jim Stone and we have Elijah Wood who plays a guy called David Waters. They are both cops in uh, the Las Vegas Police Department and they're pretty much fed up with their job. Jim is this old kind of fuddy-duddy type cop, you know, he's like the dad cop, he's got the moustache and he's got like the aviators and he thinks that his like jokes are hilarious and he's just all by the book. So he's kind of that guy. And then um, Elijah Wood's character is like the young rebellious one who's always smoking and like, you know, shagging loads of girls and just whatnot, you know, he's just kind of that guy that's just like, oh my god, you're such a grandpa, that guy. So they work super well together. But as I said, they're cops and they are fed up with their jobs. And very early on in the movie, Nicolas Cage's character comes across a discrepancy in uh, the files of a drug dealer that was arrested. He's like noticed that the guy got bailed out. Uh, it was a very huge amount of money for the bail. And he can't figure out how this guy managed to get bailed out with this amount. So he thinks something a bit more nefarious is going on here. So he enlists Elijah Wood's help to do a little off the record type stakeout thing and investigate. And it's quite funny at that point, I mean, it, this film is quite dark, but at this point in time, you know, it's kind of fun watching them going through trying to figure out the hierarchy of this thing and how high does this thing go and, you know, who's behind this. And as they get a bit closer, they realise that uh, there is a vault, which they discover is a vault. There is a vault that's been specifically built in a building that is not used very much, and they decide to plan an elaborate heist, just the two of them, to try and get into it and find what they don't know what's in it but they're going to basically take whatever the hell is in it could be anything so that's kind of cool i actually quite like it i like the idea of that is that you know they've kind of got this end game we don't know what it's going to be could be nothing could be like something amazing but they're putting everything on the line just to get this contents of this vault the film's a little bit slow at times especially in like the first half an hour like before anything to do with the heist actually begins when they're just kind of doing little stakeouts and here and there but I have to say Nicolas Cage's performance in this was fantastic as was Elijah Woods because the comedy part in this film comes from the exchanges between their two characters it's all about the dialogue it really is this isn't like a slapstick film it's not you know it's nothing like that whoever wrote the script is fantastic my hat is off to you my friend because I really really laughed out like proper laughed out loud at a lot of this film especially when they were talking which is strange because it's quite a gritty film, you know, it's not it's not some sort of cheery, happy-go-lucky type movie. It's quite dark and intense at times and, and, you know, there's a lot of sort of like, oh my god, what the fuck moments. There's plenty of that. It was great. It was a brilliant, brilliant watch, except for the parts where it was a little slow. There were some very, very randomly, fantastically emotional moments in this movie as well. I mean, it was quite dramatic at times. And I thought they worked, at first I wasn't too convinced because seeing them in the first half of the film I was like, oh it's a little bit odd still. But as it got towards the last half of the film where everything got really emotional and very intense, especially like the vault scene when they're actually working on the combination part, I was on the edge of my seat for that entire scene, or I should say the edge of my bed. I was literally just like nail biting. And they do emotional together so well and dramatic, it was fantastic. Um, if I was going to rate this film though, I would probably give it a seven and a half. I want to say eight, but yeah, I think I'd give it like a seven to eight out of ten because, um, like I said, it was a little bit slow at parts. Um, there wasn't like much of a musical score and what there was in this film was quite random and it's not usually a film I would normally go for, so maybe I didn't appreciate it as much as somebody else would have. But yeah, apart from the, uh, the slight slowness of the film, the little moments here and there that were confusing me because there wasn't a lot of there wasn't enough sort of backstory on what was happening. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Sod it. Let's give it an eight. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, 
Saturn. Okay, well, hopefully I will see you guys again soon. Bye.